Right. So some of those guys are like just well established and they watch for uh, entertainment, but like it's not necessarily completely their fault that they can't find a wife. I wouldn't say. I think it's just hard for everyone, and I think it's extraordinarily hard to find. Um, I would say like a good wife today. I think it's easier to find a good husband than to find a good wife. I did not say hot husband, though. Like, that's a tougher thing to do. Why do you think it's easier to find a good husband than it is to find a good wife? Well, because the, the majority of men, like, they're not really having access to women. You know what I mean? Like, that's but what I said. But how does that equate to being a good wife if so, you have access to men or not? All right, so how about mm -hmm. this? Like, let me ask you this question. What makes a good husband to you? That's what I was going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm asking. Well, when right I now. when I get married, I would expect. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Ron Jackson super chatted one hundred dollars. You make money into the of table. men throwing literally thousands of dollars a month at you to get enough that they can get for free. Him sending money to see the looks on your faces when confronted with oh the weight my. of your life's decisions. Wow! Holy! Wow! I feel like guys will send stuff good. like this thinking that they're gonna like own me and like get me, but I mean I'm very happy with all the decisions that I've made. Yeah. So there's not really anything that you could say that make, can make me be like, oh my god, I oh. fucked up. Speedy the oh. unsilent super chatted one hundred dollars, three hundred bodies. Oh. No high value man will wife a woman with that level of mileage. Oh. I I don't really care. Like I'm very happy with my life right now. I have wonderful stable romantic situations with people who make me feel fulfilled um and i don't need to meet a man who identifies as a high value man because i think that that is silly well in response to davon jackson's or well, somewhat related to your response to davon oh dang nick donated 90 dollars. thank you bryce hey, appreciate it hating on us tds guys i go to work then hit the gym <laughs> to improve myself and catch this show twice a week mostly this show is funny and Brian gets to out lots of 300 fours. Plus, I mean, it's Brian. Yeah, actually, um, I have not revealed this, but all these guys that uh, send TTS and donations, I actually got an OnlyFans, huh? <laughs> they, yeah, they're subscribed. All these guys are my OF. We kind of do the same thing. Talking about feed pics, yeah, huh? Yeah. Actually, yo, only, OnlyFans.com slash whatever. Go check it out. <laughs> Go sub. Go sub. I actually have it, boys. There's some photos of Kiki, but it's sparse. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> that's where you keep your $10 No, not Kiko. Pay. Although, Kiko, if you want, we no. could do a split. Just saying. I'm kidding. No. 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 Okay. Um, you know, they, they're patrons of the show, and they want to support the show. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very sorry. We had a, a string of TTSs there. Mm -hmm. Who was... Was it mm -hmm. you? I forgot who was. Uh... No, I was just asking the girls like what a good husband is to them. Like oh, we, yeah. we yeah. build build a man. I'm like, I'm I'm, write, I'm writing these things okay. down. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think at the point when I'm ready to get married, I would want someone who is faithful, someone who is financially stable as I am, someone who wants the same amount of kids and I like things that we have in common, that sort of thing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Who donated ninety dollars? This chat only speaks facts. God damn. Yeah, By the way, Davon, that was a. It, you, ex I think that was excoriated. I don't know. I, it was, it was well put. Well put. Your, your TTS. Sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. any, any other build a husband? I, I think that if I were to build a, a husband or a spouse, I, it would be someone who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. somebody who is good at communicating with me. So when we don't understand each other, we can get to a point where we understand each other. Mm -hmm. um, and um, let me think. What else? Communication is the biggest one for me, but. Uh, funny and um, brings like a calming presence to my life. I and think those kind. are the most important things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kind and then calm. Okay. And then uh, so we have a good husband. Mm -hmm. um, That's a great husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And no, I mean that would be like ideal if you could get it. What, what would what in your opinion makes a good wife? I would say the exact same list. Yeah. The same faithful. We have money, kids. Attractive, communication, funny, kind, calm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing. I would date that girl. Yeah. Okay. So like, okay, we'll we'll do beautiful woman. Um, so like, all that sounds really good. So I live in the Midwest. You guys are all from Cali, right? I'm from the Midwest. I'm from okay. Australia. Where? Oh, Australia. Okay. Yeah. So. Tylon twenty five super chatted one. Yo, Tylon, thank you, man. We have access to women. However, not many women are marriage worthy in the West. Mm. That's true. Um. So like when it comes to like having a good husband, so you're in the Midwest. Do you mind saying like where from? I'm originally from Missouri, but then I lived in Arkansas skin, skin, for a decade. Skin, skin okay, how long did you live there? Like when did in you Missouri? leave? Missouri? Yeah, how old were you I, when you I left? I grew up. I and I went to high school there. Okay, so, so I, I left uh, 
I left St. Louis mm -hmm. when I was like 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 18, something like that. Do you think the dating scene in the Midwest is different than the dating scene in California? You know what? I did not do much dating as a high school student. Well, just like watching couples as a kid. Um, I, I do think it's different from what I'm experiencing now because mm -hmm. what I am doing in California is like working in like entertainment and porn. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when I was growing up, it was like mm -hmm. people who I would see coupled up would be like, mm -hmm. you know, parents who lived in my very suburban neighborhood and they okay. just live a fundamentally different life than what I live. Mm -hmm. Did you live in like a city in Australia or is it more like the countryside? I grew up in a town outside of the city, yeah. Okay, do you think that dating in LA is different than over there? Well, most definitely. I mean, there's more people in the state of California than there is in the whole continent of Australia. So you definitely have a lot more options. Yeah, yeah having so many options is, an, is another thing that I think impacts it. Mm -hmm. So it's just like the, the kind of guys that would, that would embody these things, like faithful, which means that you know he would want to be monogamous, have the finances, want to have children, and then you know has all these like fun things like communication, funny, kind, calm. There, I think that they would see it as a really big risk to marry a woman that's in sex work, mm -hmm. just because of parental reasons and also for infidelity reasons. I think that they would just see that as a risk and they might not take it, unless like the guy is more blue pilled or beta and just happy to have you around. And so the problem with if you do get married and like this stuff does happen, don't get me wrong. Like Riley Reed just got married. Um, shout out to her. Also, she just had a baby. So it's just like, how are you going to be attracted to that kind of guy, that kind of guy long term? You know what I mean? What kind of guy? Um, you mean like a blue pill beta guy? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like a guy that says yes to a lot of things and kind of lets you lead. How would you be able to be attracted to him 10, 15, 20 years down the road? Because infidelity is pretty high in marriages for both um, men and women, but for very different reasons. So it's like the lives that you choose today, now in your 20s and your 30s, are really going to map out the kind of men that you can be in relationships with. It's not to say that you can't get married. It's just going to be maybe not to the guy that you want, right? I mean, I think if you're dumbing it down to that, then yeah. But also, mm -hmm. if you are an attractive woman living in a big city who's financially stable, and say mm -hmm. for me, once I do get married, I want to leave the industry. I won't be in the industry anymore. That's not to yeah. say it's the same for everyone. Yeah. But I don't think what I've done in my past to set myself up mm -hmm. for financial stability, generational wealth, all of that is going to impact any kind of man I would entertain to marry. Mm -hmm. I would never even entertain a man that would be put off by the fact that, oh, you make six figures of the month selling your pussy or whatever they want to say on there. Mm -hmm. Like, it, you know, it just depends on what you're going for. If you're a woman in the Midwest, then yeah, maybe <laughs> it would have, have a bit of an effect. By the way, this, hey. is, this is Mike Davis. Continue. Hey, Mike Davis. Hey, Mike Davis. Um, yeah, I think location and the type of man you're looking for, sure. But I think if we're going off women that we know or in you know a similar bracket lifestyle whatever mm -hmm. i don't think they're going to have a f they're going to have a problem finding a man mm -hmm. in that area yeah to be honest so many of the porn stars that we know are in happy long-term relationships yeah and many how, of them are even emotionally monogamous yeah how long pretty long i know like, some that have been in like, for decades yeah, yeah like some okay. of the biggest porn stars that i mm -hmm. know have been in the same relationship for over 10 years okay um happily married mm -hmm. or just in like a very long-term stable relationship um well, with kids that you know have a good life well i mean that, so that part's different. i would say most normal men i'm not saying you can't find it most men would have a major issue knowing that their girl is getting fucked by another guy. Sure. I, I think that any work, person... Most men would have an issue with that. Any individual yeah, person... Martin super chatted $100. Do I have to boost it? Attorney and business owner... Thanks, Martin. ...hundreds of employees. Sending Brian my bona fides. I have a girlfriend that's a nine. Oh. I make more than the OF girls on the panel. I'm concerned with the oh. state of our society. Don't worry about my bank account. Worry about her next blood test. <laughs> is this an well, HIV joke? Yeah. Chat, oh, I think it's the like chat is on fire. Yeah. Fires in the chat. Okay. Um. Well, I just feel like hmm? if you could say any individual person would not be a match for most people, you yeah. know. And so, like when you're saying like, oh, normal men don't want this, normal men don't want that, you know, like you could say that any individual person would not be a match oh, for the majority of society. Nice 